Hi there, welcome to SQL in 60 seconds. Today, I'm going to ask you a very interesting question. What is quantum computing? Now, you can get the theory of this from internet. Let me explain you this concept with a simple, fun example. I was told this example by a scientist and I want to share this with all of you today. In the screen, you can see there is a coin. The coin has two sides, heads and tails. Now, we will start this experiment with the coin having the head side up. There are going to be three opportunities to flip the coin. Remember, I said flip and not the toss. The first and third turn is by computer and it is programmed to always flip the coin. The second turn is of human and they have opportunity to make decision if they want to flip the coin or not. Now the game is won by computer if the final outcome is heads. Additionally, human and computer both has absolutely no idea what move each of them are doing. Now the question is, what is the probability of the outcome that the coin has head side up after the final flip by computer? Think for a moment. If you are familiar with classical computer, then you know it thinks in terms of 0 and 1. And the probability of the outcome is nearly 50-50 and that is true as well. However, let me tell you, if you are using quantum computer, it will win 100% of time irrespective of what human decides to do with the coin. Are you confused? Are you? If yes, you have understood the step one of quantum computing. Yes, I said it correct. Quantum computers will win it 100% of time because it does not think in terms of 0 and 1. Well, let me explain you this with one more example. Alright then, now let's understand how quantum computing work with this simple example. Let's take example of classic computer first. Here is our coin. Now, this is computer's turn and this is also computer's turn. This is human's turn. Please remember the rules. Computer always have to flip the coin whereas human has choice to flip or not flip the coin. Now, here we start. This is the input. Now, when it is computer's turn, it will flip the coin like this. Now, it's human's turn. Let's assume that human decides to flip the coin as well. Here it is. Also, let's see the scenario when human is also not flipping the coin. Now, it is computer's turn. So, when this coin comes over here, at that point of time, computer flips it like this. And when this coin comes over here, computer flips the coin like this. Now remember, computer wins if the outcome looks like this. In this scenario, it is very clear that winning chance of computer is only 50%. This is because how classic computer works. Now is the time to understand how quantum computing works. Here is the input. Now, the first turn is of computer. When computer has to flip the coin, at that point of time, it will apply Hadamard gate on this coin. That means the coin has equal chance to be 1 or 0. This coin is now passed to human over here. Now, human has a choice. Human wants to flip the coin or skip the coin. Let's assume that human is going to flip this coin. Now, please note that when human flips the coin, the coin will be flipped like this. Yes, coin got definitely flipped. But you may not think that it is flipped because that's not what our conventional understanding is. Now is the time of computer once again. Computer applies Hadamard gate one more time and now result is like this. When you apply two Hadamard gates on any value, you get your original value back. That means our computer wins 100% of time. Two Hadamard gates and in between there is either poly X or identity gate will not make any difference. The output of this entire circuit will be exactly same and that means our computer will win 100% of time. This is quantum computing for you. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Now, do not go by the demonstration only. You can also prove that 
scientifically by going to IBM's website and using actual quantum computer. Yes, it is true, you can do that. I have already run the simulation and here are the screenshot. In the first screenshot, you can see I have simulated the case of flip by human. In this case, I have Hadamard gate H, which is simulating the computer's flip and poly X gate X, which is representing human flip. When you take Hadamard matrix and flip it and multiply it with another Hadamard matrix, you will always get the original value back. That means output of this entire exercise is same as what was input. That means computer wins 100%. Here is another case where I have put identity gate I between two Hadamard gate and the output is actually identical to previous example. Computer once again wins because two Hadamard matrix are multiplied and they always return original input. If you do not trust the simulation, here is actual output of the same simulation ran on London's actual quantum computer and you will see that computer wins over 90% of the time. Three primary principles of quantum computing. The first one is superposition. The second one is entanglement and third one is fault tolerance. We'll discuss about them in the future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like and subscribe. We'll meet again very soon.